busy, busy day today. There's a lot going on. So not really much time to talk. Obviously, Lucy blew up her cage. We got her in the soap. Gotta clean it. I'll hit you back when we get her out. You got a little on her nose. <laughs> Would you stop poking the beast? I just gotta get the shit off your nose, sweetheart. Sweetheart, so big. Wait, why didn't we do this when, you know, never mind. Ooh. Why can't she ever shit when we have guests here? Got it. Look at it. It's I got it. Put it up to that's what you're doing. Like, oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, guys, so we got a new business here. We shed your snakes. You wanna schedule with us? Go to weshedyoursnake.com. That is not what I said. <laughs> That's one of the 3,000 things I got to do today. So, uh, moving on to the next. Well, as you can see, Jay and Mike definitely worked in tandem. It's really important to make sure that you have two people when you're dealing with big snakes. And uh, I tell you what, Noah and Jay found that out with butterscotch. Jay! Are they looking for you? Oh, yeah, I was just watering Bowser. We have snake cages in Let's go. She destroyed this cage. No other way. Oh yeah, dude, she's hungry. I don't oh, think she ate this week because she was in shit. You clean her tonight. Big old rabbit. You see it. these rabbits in your front yard? <laughs> dude, this snake is gonna strike. Bing bong. You gonna get in there? Yeah. Here, you want me to do the foot thing? <laughs> Where's my hug? Jay, get off the phone. All right, text me. This thing's gonna strike at me, bro. No. She actually really likes it. Whoa, 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 whoa. I need a hook too. I gotta leave you to get a hook. Whoa, whoa. No, get out of there. Bro, is he straight? Yeah. No, get out. No, get out. No, get out. Got you, I got you, I got you. You're good. <laughs> Let go of me. <laughs> Why are we doing this? We we definitely are not. Where's my dad? We're not qualified to do this. Did you see that thing? They have his mouth open. He's trying to eat me. What are you doing? Dude, it's like so angry. Why do you think she's Why are you pushing the glass? <laughs> well, no, you're not really doing anything but pissing her off more. He does not know what he's doing. I slatter her so much. Well, no, I can't do everything from out here. I can't keep you safe. Make sure the ladder doesn't fall. Okay. Get her right now. Get her right now. All right. Oh, man, she has strong <laughs> Get it, man. Pull it. Pull it. No. Pull it. Ah! Get that half. You got this half. Damn! <laughs> Hold the ladder! No, I cannot do everything from out here. <laughs> Hold the ladder! Put it around my neck. Hold the ladder! Put it around my neck. I don't have enough foot. I get the first tenth of her. You're on the last six right now, so. Bro, I need your f***ing backup set! No, I, I can't f***ing you help you. You are the f***ing worst! Oh, get up my shoulder. Oh, no, no, get out! I got, I got, I got, I got the glass, I got the glass, I got the glass. <laughs> God, you called me. You know I got you, no. I'm not qualified to do this at all. Not even kind of. Call dad. Thank you, you called me. You gotta do any time. <laughs> now there's no glass to protect us, though. Call your dad. Why are you putting the phone away? Call him. He's out now. It's one o'clock. Keep taking Sorry. your eyes no, off you're good, of you're the good. angry snake that can reach this spot. <laughs> that is trained to catch rabbits out of From the air. where we are standing. From where we're standing. <laughs> yep, yep, yep. Well, dad's not available. Okay. Caught the glass and somehow Jay caught Noah. We don't know how we can eat it. Mike, how was your lunch? I didn't even get it in. <laughs> well, you guys said you got it. Are you? You don't no, understand. You it don't was understand. Crazy. Yeah. Almost died. Okay, I thought it was. Like, we mean. Yeah. Yeah, he mean? almost died. That's typically yeah, how it goes. He fell good. from here. I'm She's wrong. really mad. Okay, um, wait, why'd you give me an adverse? Wait, you Noah's got you. I got the boots on. Yeah, that's probably why we got you. They help with you. The problem is, someone, I'm wet right now. We'll get her running. Just like Lucy. Mike is a professional. Watch yourself, watch yourself. Oop, here she comes. No Don't striking on like Thursday. Brutally strike. Oh my god! Did she come back at me? Really smooth this time. Yeah. Proud of us and the team. That's really good. Now we you just have to clean. Fantastic. I'm gonna go eat lunch up. Good job, guys. Thanks. Thanks.
Thank God we have a cowboy. <laughs> that was absolutely epic. I wasn't here for it, so getting to see the footage actually was funny as heck. They did a good job. Noah almost killed himself. We almost broke a bunch of glass, but the fact is it happens. But I can't stress enough that every snake I have pretty much is docile, you know? Every now and then they get a little cranky and everyone has a bad day, you know? Sometimes you wake up on the wrong side of the cage, you know what I mean? But the truth is, is I don't ever want people to think that our animals or really snakes in general are like mean and stuff like that because they're not. I mean, look at Gemma. She's even grabbing. It, and I can go in here and do anything I want with her. She's an absolute puppy dog. And pretty much all of our animals are that way. I mean, they're really absolutely amazing animals. So, but at the same time, you know, hey, let's play it smart. And every now and then something crazy happens. You know, Lucy is that way. She'll go through like two months where she's like my best friend and she hangs out with me. And then she'll go through like two months where she wants to kill me every single day. So uh, it's just the way it goes, you know. But I definitely don't ever want to paint a picture of snakes like they're mean and nasty. Just sometimes uh, certain snakes like Lucy and Butterscotch can be a little bit of a handful and two people are needed. Christmas swag is still available. Obviously all the old Reptile Army stuff is available. So until Christmas, I've said that I'm gonna actually for every purchase you'll have a personal video thank you that comes from me so go to reptilearmy.com you can not only get some great merch for christmas also some cool stuff just to wear around but you also get a personalized video thank you from me each and every purchase until christmas reptilearmy.com you know it's interesting even the late great steve Irwin had a little bit of a run-in where one day he kind of broke that rule about not working with big snakes alone again you know listen i've been working with big snakes and i be honest with you many times I work with big snakes alone. I broke that rule. I try not to do it now, but his experience was actually with a Burmese python, just like Sunrise here. And he was actually at the zoo and he said he went in, he was working with her, much like I'm doing right now. And it just squeezed him out. And it literally put him unconscious, believe it or not. Actually, I'm sure it was probably just hanging on to him like it's a tree, not trying to kill him or anything like that. But his dad, Bob Irwin, actually was lucky enough to walk in and found him unconscious with the snake kind of wrapped around him. Again, the snake wasn't trying to kill him. I'm sure it was just hanging on. I've even had situations where I've had a snake like Sunrise around me and she's just hanging on so tight that all of a sudden you feel that like, oh, I'm starting to lose it a little bit here. You have to loosen her up a little bit. These snakes are really, really strong. So you have to be really careful. It's just best if you have a snake that's over you know, eight, nine foot that you always have someone else there just to be safe because that backup could actually save your life. And again, I'm no way am I trying to paint a picture of snakes being killers because they aren't. I'm just saying that sometimes they don't even mean to. They're so strong that they could actually hurt you so uh, two people is a must so we got these pineapple for this monkey tail skinks right here well I'm a little scared I think I should grab tongs man we'll just grab a few extra inches everything in this zoo is gonna be sticky now <laughs> they're just butting they're head butting it I'm sorry guys I thought you would actually like it they didn't like it at all they liked the watermelon last week this pineapple, they're headbutting it. I don't even, I don't even get this. Oh, it's got his mouth open. One more try for heaven's sakes. Yeah, lick it. It's sweet. Nope. Well, you win some, you lose some. What can we do? Just wanted to give you a little update on the new albino water monitor that we've had now for a handful of days. Doing so well, eating already completely socialized, amazing. It actually has some pretty big dagger when it comes to claws, so we're gonna have to trim those claws at some point here, but we didn't wanna add extra stress. And again, you guys have come up with a ton of really good names down in the comments. Continue them going. I'll be honest with you, you know that I love How to Train the Dragon. Obviously, we have Night Fury, we have Toothless, and we're wondering, Maybe we name this one Hiccup, right? Because, I mean, I love How to Train a Dragon, and we've got Toothless, and we've got Night Fury. I mean, Hiccup only makes sense, right? So let me know in the comments if you guys like the name Hiccup for my albino water monitor, or if you have another idea for another suggestion. But as you can see, it's an absolute puppy dog. So absolutely mellow and tame. And I love this guy to death. I mean, just a really amazing addition. So uh, I wanted to give you guys the update of how well he's doing. And uh, still just got to nail down that name. Is Hiccup it? I don't know. Let me know what you guys think uh, it'll be really cool to put a name to this guy so that we can start working with him more you haven't even started ball training or anything yet so we've got a long way to go but wow what an absolutely spectacular little monkey this guy is so I wanted to introduce you guys to the newest member of the Reptarium team this guy is Pete so we did have somebody who needed to donate this poor little guy because she was no longer able to keep him 
the poor lady, it was her husband's pet and her husband passed away and, and she just didn't feel she could care for him. So she literally came to us in tears and asked if we could give a home to Pete. And honestly, he's amazing. He's such a beautiful, great guy. He's real active and he's already got to make a debut at like a birthday party and stuff today. So I think he's gonna be a great addition to our education team. Take a look at this. We actually have the anacondas locked up right now. Of course, Ivy hanging out over here. And then Jazz is actually locked up. That's how an anaconda will lock up as they'll switch his tail around, all around like that, and they actually breed like that. So Jazzy is completely locked up with Ivy. Wow. Mike, we're gonna have a lot of baby anacondas we're gonna have to take care of. You excited? It's a lot of pee. It's a lot of pee. <laughs> Terrence! He's giving a good lick. He's enticed. Oh yeah, he's gonna love this. You got it, boy. It's a little tough, I know. Ooh, it's sweet, right? He's licking it like a popsicle. Ooh, good boy. Oh, you're gonna take the whole thing? What a fatty. <laughs> look at him juicing it. Ooh. I like when he eats because look at these like puff balls that come out of his neck. I don't know what that is, but it's cute. He literally ate all the fruit off, left all the skin, so I'm gonna grab him another piece. Okay, so I got him a pure pineapple slice, no crusty on it. Take it, boy. I'm, I wanna hold it so it doesn't get all dirty, though. The reptile prime and such. Whoa! That was crazy. He's getting all riled up. It's pineapple. He says that's a mine apple. Oh, I know. That's why I was trying to hold it, but you ripped it out of my hand. Oh, that's a big bite. So fun. I think he just likes to suck on the juices. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, do me a favor and hit this playlist right over here. It's a, bu a bunch of big snakes. If you guys enjoyed it, I know that I enjoyed seeing those bozos do stuff. If you don't mind, also, could you right here hit that subscription button? It would mean the world to me. Have an absolutely wonderful day, Reptile Army. Remember, be kind to someone, and I promise I'll see you in the next one.